Hey everybody, so I am super duper excited about today's video because I get to try out this new bed that I have been wanting for years. So if you haven't heard about Big Fig yet, um, A, where have you been? But no, just kidding. Um, Big Fig is relatively new. I would say maybe out the last four years. I'd have to double check. Four or five years maybe. Um, I think they came out right when I stopped blogging around the first time. And I remember seeing my friends, um, if you're a blogger, start getting it and loving it. I don't know about you, but I am uh, 31 years old, not too far away from 32, and I still, until this week, had beds that my parents bought for me. <laughs> um, originally, you know, like I had my twin bed growing up, then I had a double bed when I was in like high school, college, and then when I moved out, my parents were actually getting a new bed, so I got their old queen size bed. And so I've had a hand-me-down mattress since then, um, and this was probably five, six years ago, and they had been using it prior to that. So it's time for a new bed, and I am so excited that I get to do a big fig. If you haven't heard about Big Fig, it is specifically designed for big people in mind. Um, it is made to be durable, lasting, supportive of big bodies, and thoughtful about the way that big bodies are shaped and what they need in a mattress. So a lot of times when we see like a mattress in a box, we just assume it's a foam mattress, not Big Fig. It's foam mattresses that might feel comfortable at first, but eventually start sagging, sagging, and sagging. And they're super affordable, but they're not very durable. Um, big Fig knows that with a bigger body, you weigh more, and then that's not gonna last you very long over time. So what they have, is the support of springs but also with different kind of layers of foam material for comfort. I'll admit that it can get kind of science to like talk about how this mattress is made but basically my understanding is that there's a bunch of individual coils and this allows the bed, the bed to actually shape to your body shape. So for me, I'm bigger in my butt and hip. It's going to allow the bed to like sink in a little bit lower but still have that support because every single spring is individual and made of really good steel. And then they also have like really um, like denser foams toward the bottom and then the foams get a little softer towards the top so you still have that comfort. Now when I was in Atlanta for the TCF style like Expo, I ran into the big fig folks and actually I even told them like I'm hunting you down <laughs> because when I knew I was going to Atlanta and I knew big fig was one of the like main sponsors I made it a point to go out and talk to them like this is a product I wanted for myself and I'm really happy I got to meet them I think that they have a product that is is needed is a niche in the market for big and tall people who can have a bed that's going to last support one of the things I really love is it has like edge support so the bed's not going to sink if you're sitting on the edge of it and then it's also just made um to hold higher weight so if you and your partner are big they don't have to worry about that so much um from what I understand it's made so that you like you and your partner don't feel each other moving as much um as other beds me I'm just me and Lola so we're good but I am very excited about the fact that I'll have a more comfortable bed made for my body um, rather than just kind of like getting a bed and hoping it works for my body. So I did get to become an affiliate with Big Fig Mattress. Part of that is that I get to review the mattress. So I'm going to set it up today, show you their at-home delivery service because it used to be more traditional where they'd You'd have to order it to be delivered, it'd take a little while to get there, it'd be set up for you, etc. Now they have that still, but they also have the option to get in a box that's delivered in two to three days, which is their standard in America. They also deliver to Canada. And then it's supposed to be made for you to simply do it at home. Now it does say to do it with a buddy, and I'm gonna do it by myself. Maybe I'll get Lola to hold something down for me. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. But as an affiliate, I do have a special link for you down below and a coupon code. And I'm going to do a little voice over here because I filmed this back around Halloween and they were doing a different sale there. So I have a link down below that you can directly go to the Big Fig site. In addition to that, you can use the code Rebecca and get a discount on your mattress. So if they don't have any sale going on, that code will automatically get you $100 off your mattress. However, if they have a better sale going on, you can still use the word Rebecca and get the max amount. So right now they're actually having their Black Friday sale and they are offering the most amount they ever will offer off of their mattress, and it's $300 off. So if you've been thinking about it or you're curious, now is the time to act. $300 off your mattress. You have 120 nights, I believe, to test it out, and then it has a 20-year warranty. And, of course, if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer down in the comments below. But, yes, you can use the code Rebecca and use my link to get $300 off currently on your mattress, and if the... Um, sale has already passed. If you're watching this later, you will still automatically get at least $100 off of your mattress. 
So after talking with them, I decided to become an affiliate of Big Fig and what that allows me to do is get a mattress on my own. I decided to just go ahead and keep it to a queen. That's what I have now. And honestly, my apartment room is not that big. Um, so we're gonna do that. I get to review it, test it out. There's a 100 day, 120 day trial period for you to test and sleep on the Big Fig and return it if you don't love it. Um, and so I'm gonna test it out for a couple days and do a video about it. And then I will do updates as I go. So I guess the question now is, can one person put this all together itself? There's a couple different things you can get with a big fig. So like when you get your big fig mattress, it comes with a foundation, which is that box below. The foundation is important because a lot of times foundations only have a center strip and then the two sides. The big fig one also has another two sets whoop, of support. So it's gonna hold up your mattress longer over time. It's a better foundation. And again, it's meant to hold more weight. And then you could choose to get a bed frame. And I did choose to get a bed frame because, and this is that where you see this, extreme. I decided to get a new bed frame because my last bed frame was metal and that part was all fine and dandy, but it went down into these plastic wheels. Well, over the years, like the plastic, it had like a, a metal screw that went into a plastic holder. The little plastic holder was not gonna hold up against my weight over all these years. Um, so my bed frame was like not doing well. And so I'm really happy to have one that doesn't have wheels on it, that is just plain metal and will support everything better. And then I got these things. I got these things from Lowe's. My mom has these on her bed, but basically it makes it easy to move the bed. So my last bed had a headboard. I got rid of the headboard too. I might decide to get another headboard because I, I enjoy having a headboard, but I couldn't move my bed around to get behind it or anything. So I'm gonna use these once I have everything made to put underneath the um, frame so that I can move my bed whenever I want to vacuum or so on. All right, so I managed to move all these boxes in my room by myself. So let's hope I can put it together by myself. <laughs> Wish me luck. I am gonna take it to through with you speed, but you can see the process of getting this. Obviously, if you have someone to help you, it'll go a little bit faster. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of a first-hand review. Then I'll come back tomorrow and let you know how it was on my first night sleeping with it. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Again, I hunted down them. I like Big Fig. And um, whenever we tried out the mattress in Atlanta, I was with my friend Leah, she bought it after that weekend. Um, so, and then she's always talking about how she loves it. So I am excited. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know it's looking? I was hiding in between How long, how long, how long Did you wait for me? How long, how long, how long Did you really need To figure it I even know me. You haven't been helping me at all. You haven't been helping me at all. <sighs> no help. All right, put together the frame. Now I gotta put these little slats, and they're connected by ribbon. Um, and I use Velcro to secure them in place. I like that part.
All right, I'm not gonna lie. That took me about an hour and a half to do by myself. Part of it was like trial and error and not understanding directions. So I'm gonna make sure I give you some helpful tips, tips in the description box. But now should be the fun part where I actually unbox the mattress. Fingers crossed. This is the part where they really suggest two people. Um, I have to get this box up on the foundation to then let it out of the box, to let the mattress out. So, and then by the way, this foundation is very sturdy. I am already a fan. I'm sitting on the end. It's not picking up off the other end um, from a disbalance, so that's cool. Um, wish me luck. That was much easier than I thought. So my understanding is that this mattress, again, is not just foam. So some of those foam mattresses, you see them like gently lay down, then they rise. This one has a bunch of springs in it. I've seen someone open this before. It was pretty funny. So I wanna make sure I do this the right way. They give you this to cut the outer layer of plastic. So we're supposed to cut the outer layer of plastic first. It's still gonna be rolled in another layer of plastic. Then we roll it out, then we cut the remaining layer of plastic. I need to wait 30 minutes before I lay on it so it can fully expand. Let's do this. So I'm not gonna lie, my back hurts. I'm gonna be very excited to get into this tonight. It's gotta at least have 30 minutes to rise. Just so you can see the top. These are soft, you don't have to worry about. This is just like yarn. I love it. Okay. We're gonna give that a little bit of time and I'm gonna rest. All right guys, I'm like right on the edge, and it's good. It's good. So, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit difficult to do on your own. I do suggest following directions and doing this with a friend. Um, it just would have taken a lot less time, and then also, the thing that I kept getting confused, so the metal frame comes from another brand, I'm guessing, that they use. And the instructions that Big Fig sends you for the foundation and the mattress are like super clear. But the, the instructions for the frame were not as clear and um, it looked like the metal was supposed to like go into these divots and it wasn't. It was supposed to sit like on this lip that it had. So it took me a little bit to like figure out. So that took honestly the longest time. The, f the foundation was pretty easy to put together. It would have been faster with two people. Um, and then you saw the mattress, didn't take long. You do, you're not supposed to let it go for 30 minutes. I end up taking a break, having dinner, etc., before coming back. Um, I don't know how to explain how soft the top of this is. It feels like a lovely plush foam pillow that's super soft. Like this material is so soft. You see these little like um, flowery looking things and you might think that that's gonna like actually stick into you it doesn't it's soft yarn so you're not gonna actually feel that um the top of this feels like as if you have like a firm a firm but soft um, there's definitely like strength to it but soft pillow top and um it just feels really nice to the touch um, again, I got to try this out. They had a king size version in Atlanta, so I got to try this out. The queen is this one. Um, I will say, like, I'm used to having a headboard, so my bed actually had a little bit extra space now between, um, this and my, um, drawer or my, um, cabinet that I'm used to. I'm still thinking I'll get a headboard and I'll have to have someone help me move some things. The little discs I put down, I don't think they're working very well, but to be fair, I didn't realize there were six feet 
on the foundation. I thought there was only four. Um, so I might need to pick up two more of those discs. I like the height of the bed. Um, again, like it's meant so that you can be sitting right here and it's not affecting your partner who might be in another part of the bed. I actually see Lola wanting to come in. So let's see if Lola likes the bed. Hold on one second. I've been sleeping on an air mattress. So my brother-in-law came and helped me get rid of my mattress on Tuesday. And I've been sleeping on an air mattress ever since then because every day I came home from work and I was too tired to put this together. So I'm very excited about tonight's sleep. A couple more things about this mattress. So A, it's a 120 night trial. You can return it if you don't like it. Um, also the mattress itself has a 20 year warranty. So they really believe this mattress is going to stand up to test of time. That's why they have that warranty. It supports up to 1,100 pounds, which again is a lot more than most mattresses do. If you're someone that gets hot at night, it has thermogel technology to keep the mattress cool. That works for me because I am a hot sleeper. It's made in the USA, which is pretty cool. I am a fan. I feel so lucky that I was able to meet them in Atlanta and get this for myself. Um, I definitely think if I hadn't been able to meet them and do it through this, it's something I would have had to save up for because I do think that over time, again, 20 year warranty, this is going to serve me a lot longer than any cheap little mattress I could afford. And again, I have been getting like hand-me-down mattresses. It was time for me to get like a nice mattress just for me. So I guess let's make my bed and I'll have my first night's sleep. I'll update you guys in the morning. And then I think I'll give it at least one other night before I say anything. And then I'll give you updates periodically, um, maybe through the 120 day thing. Let me know if you have any questions about the mattress. Like, again, this is my first like big girl mattress that wasn't just a hand-me-down. So you might have questions that I could answer and let me know if you have any of those. so I am doing a follow-up to the first portion of the video I said in it that I would come back the very next day and I failed to do so November has been like the busiest month of my life and I just have not had a good day to film um, even now it's dark outside what time is it it's 9 22 in the evening I'm sitting here I'm a big fig about to go to bed um, but I really want to get this out to you because right now big fig is having like their biggest sale um, that they're gonna they do they do the $300 off is the biggest amount they offer so I'm gonna get this out so you can look into it if you're interested in it but the nice thing is it is now November 24th. I think I put the big fig together right around Halloween so it's been a minute since I've had it and having slept on it for this long I definitely have some more information to share with you than I would have had it been just like the night after. So let's talk about my first night on it because I do remember it quite well. Um, after I put the bed together my back hurt. <laughs> um, carrying all that heavy stuff and I think I spent around two to two and a half hours putting the bed together because I was by myself and you know things are heavy and I got really hung up on the foundation part or not the foundation the um bed frame part so my back was hurting and once I you know patiently waited for that time to pass and could lay down on the bed I laid down and sorry Lola's moving I laid down and I did not get up for quite a while um I was laying on my back and I did have like a pillow underneath my head and I was amazed at how comfortable it was. So if you know me, um, you know I have a big bottom. And what that means is there's very few surfaces that I get to lay flat on and that I have lumbar support. Um, I even have a lumbar pillow in my car because of the way that my body is shaped. And I just, you know, I go in and that part of my back very rarely has support. So one of the main things I noticed during that first time that I was laying down is that as I laid there I could feel where the support was coming in under my lumbar area. Um, that was really nice. I felt so comfortable. I didn't want to move. Um, and I went on to Instagram and actually told, if you follow my Instagram you might have seen that, that like I laid on my back which is not always a comfortable position for me and it was super comfortable. Now when I go to sleep, I tend to be a side sleeper. So um, 
in the past I've kind of slept with a little I guess a thin pillow underneath my upper body again because otherwise I'm crunching down because my hip is going out um, and then I sleep obviously with a pillow on my head and I'll admit like I still want to sleep that way I'm used to sleeping like up and I still want to sleep like that on this mattress but one of the things I noticed is this so on my previous mattress and it happened a lot this spring is my because I sleep on the side I'm sleeping you know with one hip down and the other leg kind of pushed inward and what happens with that sometimes is that my leg feels as if something got pinched in the socket where my leg gets into my hip it'll feel like my leg was slightly out of joint um, and it's a really bad pain it can have shooting pain up to my back and down to my knee and I, it always feels like it happens because I sleep in the wrong position because I notice it when I wake up and that's when I start having the pain the pain will last sometimes up to four days and it had been happening a lot this spring since I've slept on this new mattress it has happened zero times I've not had my leg pain do that at all I've experienced no leg pain no hip to knee pain uh, I thought I had like sciatic nerve pain I haven't been having any of that that's for me personally that's something that is amazing because gosh you know if unfortunately I don't have like my co-workers to come on here and tell you but if they could they'd say yes Rebecca kept having that issue all semester long and suddenly on this new bed I'm not having it and I just think it's because I'm getting the correct support from you know upper hip all the way down it's sinking in the right places it's holding up in the right places and I haven't had any pain that's been wonderful you know I was really excited to get the mattress but also a little bit worried because I don't exactly love every bed I ever sleep on in fact I'm really picky in beds I hate my parents beds um, at their house their guest bed their bed they sleep on every night I don't often like uh, hotel beds I'm usually looking forward to coming home so I was really nervous like what if this like I imagined this to be a great mattress and then in reality I didn't love it but I'm happy to say that like I really truly do love it I'm so glad that I got it um, I do want to come back to this mattress. I do want to come home. I'm I'm somebody that like when I'm home, I'm sitting in my bed all the time watching TV on the computer. Um, so this is really like command center and it is super comfortable to sit up in like I'm doing right now. Um, it's super supportive and then it's also super comfortable to sleep in. Now there are a couple other things that I've noticed about the bed. The first one is the sheets that I originally put on it were like these really cheap sheets from Target. They didn't have very much stretch on them um, and they kept coming off the bed. I switched to Target's jersey sheets which are actually my favorite anyways. I like a softer sheet and that one's been fine holding on perfectly. Um, haven't had to readjust it at all. So I would say you potentially need a sheet that has slight amount of stretch in it and or maybe is a deeper pocket. Um, that's what's worked best for me. The other thing is, is that for me, this bed does push, um, not push, but this bed can slide pretty easy on top of the foundation. So like if I need to change something like my sheets, the mattress slides with the foundation or off, off the foundation pretty easily. Um, Sometimes that is an issue because my pillows will get kind of like wedged between the wall and the mattress and it just the mattress is kind of like easy to push out and so I have noticed that I am looking forward to getting a um, headboard at some point and maybe that'll fix the issue of things falling in between but it just seems that um, whatever the fabrics are that's on the foundation on the bottom of the bed they just kind of slide they don't like hold and it doesn't slide a lot but it will slide a little bit and over time you'll notice that your mattress may have pushed you know past your foundation a little bit you just got to give it a shove back and it's good to go the last thing I'll mention is that this mattress did have a smell to it when I unboxed it everything has a smell and so when I say it has a smell to it, it does not mean it has a bad smell but it had the smell of what I assumed to be the foam and so you could tell like it had that foam smell I don't know some kind of like plastic rubbery hybrid of whatever that was and um, for when I put on the sheets I could still smell it when I was going to bed and um, and I would say that smell lasted about a week so within a week is when I got so tired of that one sheet coming up and off and I put on a second sheet and that's when I switched to the jersey sheet and I no longer smelled it at that point 24 days in, I have 
no smell attached to it it has nothing um, so do expect though that first night maybe the first few nights you're going to smell the foam um, and then it'll settle and you're not going to smell it anymore I don't know if the ones that come rolled up has more of that smell or less if you're to get it delivered a different way but I do think you should expect it and it's it's normal so the question is 24 days in am I happy with my big fig mattress Heck yes. Um, I am really loving it. I love that I don't have a bed that has a little sag in it anymore. Um, it's super comfortable, very supportive. Um, it does sit slightly higher, so I get a nice little bounce as I get into the bed. Um, other people have commented that it's comfortable when they come and visit and they sit on it. I just think it's a really nice mattress, and the fact that my leg pain and like hip out of joint feeling hasn't happened when it was happening almost every other week prior to this um, is amazing to me and well worth it. I found the putting it together process pretty easy considering I did it all by myself. It definitely would have taken half the time, maybe less, if you're with somebody else. Um, and my only thing that I wish was that the, um, the bed frame had better direction, so maybe uh, Big Fig could have like a second set of directions for that on their website and really it was just you know, I haven't put one of those together ever so I had to figure that thing out but I'm proud of myself I put it together all by myself I was able to do it it was simple I got it done in an evening and now I have a really awesome bed so I just want to remind you that if you are interested in looking at Big Fig go check out their website they have so much information about it on there uh, you can go and look and see if it's something that's going to work out for you and then do remember that they have a 120 night sleep period where you can test out the mattress and see if you want to keep it and or return it and then um, they also have a 20 year warranty so you can get a discount if you use the code Rebecca at checkout and I do have a link below to let them know that I sent you right now while they have their Black Friday sale you get three dollars off but if you use my code after the sale has gone you get at least $100 off your mattress and I think it is well worth the investment let me know what you think in the comments How, do you have a big fig at this point I have multiple friends with big figs and actually at camp at fat camp that I went to where a lot of us are bigger people um, it actually became a running joke about big fig because so many people had it and we were trading stories about like things and like everyone's like not the big fig make sure you save the big fig so we all and that joke doesn't make sense to anyone else but we liked the big fig it was something we talked about it was something that uh, multiple of the girls had and loved and definitely something we prized so i hope you enjoyed my review and i will talk to you later bye